Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President and CEO Automobili Lamborghini, Stefan Winkelmann. Signore e signori, buonasera. Signore e signori, buonasera. Buonasera e benvenuti. Inertial platform, as you read. We call that piattaforma inerziale, and that measures the movements of the vehicle. And the objective of it is to ensure that we come up with the best handling characteristics for our really great cars. We developed it ourselves, and it was introduced for the first time in the Huracan Coupe, or Coupe. But today, we have a new global debut here, the Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4 Spider. Powerful feeling combined with a lifestyle that's appropriate for a puristic spider. And we have opted for a lightweight and electrical fabric top to very clearly distinguish this from the coupe. But if you see these two cars, you can see there's a closed top and one with the uh, open top. You see that they're two completely different cars, so they're perfect for all different types of lifestyles. The top closes in just 17 seconds electrically, even when you're driving. The weight distribution is outstanding in this car, as you know. Handling is always one of the most important things for us, and it's just like with a coupe. That is 47% in front, 53% at the rear. And let me give you a couple more figures. These cars has, have permanent all-wheel drive, driven by a 5.2-liter V10 naturally aspirated engine that generate 610 horsepower, and the best way to enjoy the sound of that engine is with the top down. But we've, of course, focused on the chassis, too, a lightweight chassis made of carbon fiber and aluminum, and it has achieved a level of torsional rigidity that's 40% up compared to the predecessor, the Gallardo Spider. And last but not least, we have reduced CO2 emissions by 14%. And we've done this thanks to many things, including cylinder deactivation and our stop and start system. This is the second member of the Huracan family. More will follow. But for the time being, thank you for your attention. See you tomorrow at 12.15 at our press conference.